Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Now a different kind of video coming your way today. I've recently been sent some products from CME Pro, who makes some fantastic products in the world of MIDI, wireless MIDI, etc. Well worth checking out, and there's lots of content to come on some of their gear. Now firstly, thank you to CME for sending me out some things to discuss on this channel, but I wanted to just demonstrate today the installation process for the WIDI core. Now the H4 MIDI, which is this device here, is a USB host MIDI interface, typical five pin MIDI in and outs here, We've got USB-A and then we've got a USB-C on the side. But it is expandable via the WIDI core so we can send BLE MIDI, which is wireless Bluetooth MIDI. Now CME have already made a video going through this installation process, but I thought we could run through the steps together in this video because I plan on installing this myself. And if we follow the steps correctly, we shouldn't have any issues going forward. So first of all, I'm just gonna take a USB-C cable. We're gonna pop that into the side so it can see what it is we're looking at here. And you've got eight green LEDs. Now. There is no blue light in the center, which means we don't have the WIDI core currently installed. So all being well, once we've installed the WIDI core correctly, we should have a blue LED here to show us that we now have Bluetooth MIDI enabled in the H4. So what we're going to need is some tape, a utility knife to remove the sticker on the rear of the device here, and then a small crosshead screwdriver to remove a couple of screws. So let's get stuck in. So the first step we're gonna do is we're gonna flip the device over and we have a sticker here that we need to remove. So we're going to take our utility knife and very carefully get underneath this sticker and slowly prise this away from the H4. Now we do plan on popping this sticker back on afterwards. So we're just gonna keep that to the side for now. After we've removed that sticker, if we look on the side of the unit next to the USB-C port, there is a very small button that we can push down. And that also next to the two MIDI outputs, there is another small button here. So what we're going to do is we're gonna take some tape and we're gonna place that over the two buttons to make sure that they won't move when we remove this back part here. So carefully just place them into position. Make sure that they don't cover up the back part because you will be removing that in a moment. So you can see the first bit of tape there is now covered over that button here. And we're gonna take another piece of tape to cover over this button next to the USB-C port. And again, make sure that you do this without crossing over to that back plate, which we have to remove in a minute. All right, it doesn't need to be perfect, but as long as those two buttons are now taped over, they won't go anywhere. So we can think about removing this back plate. So let's take our screwdriver and get in here. And we've got one and two screws. Okay, so now there's nothing holding this back plate into position, so we should be able to just prise this off. As so. Okay. And just looking at this part here, we now have those buttons which are still in place. So they haven't come loose, which is great. We're gonna pop that to the side. And now we're looking at the inside of the H4. We're just gonna take away this part and we'll put that back into position afterwards. And we're gonna take the WIDI core and pop it into this position here. Please remove it from the packet before you do that. All right, so we've now removed the WIDI core from its packet. And what we're going to do is we're gonna line up these connections here to go into these slots on this side. You are gonna to need to flip the WIDI core around so that the red part here lines up with the same side as the five pin MIDI in and outs. So let's line everything up to make sure that this is gonna go in nicely. And once you've lined everything up and you're happy, like so, you can then just carefully push the WIDI core down into position. So now the WIDI core is installed, we're just gonna put everything back together. We're just gonna take this part here and make sure that this lines up correctly as it did before. There we go. And there's that little part in the back so we can just feed that through so that these are all lined up correctly and it's not sticking out over this part that we're gonna put back on now. So everything's lined up. We've got this cover back in place. We've got the core in position. We're gonna take the back plate again make sure it's the right way around. Obviously it won't go on this way because my five pin connections are on this side. So we're gonna carefully place this down into position. And make sure we hear those clicks. Everything looks to have been lined up correctly. 
We're going to pop our two screws back in. I'm sure you know how to do that, but we'll just do it together anyway. And then the tape that we removed before, we can put that back into position. You can obviously be a little bit more precise than I am, but as long as it kind of goes back where it needs to be, I think I'll be happy. We've just got a couple more things to do. And one is to check that the tape definitely worked. It looks like the buttons lined up correctly, so we'll carefully just remove the tape. And we'll just check the functionality of this button again. That looks absolutely fine to me. And then we've got this one on this side as well. And then that button seems to be functioning correctly as well. One final thing we just want to check is whether or not that blue light is going to light up for us. So let's do that now. USB in. And you can see we've got those green LEDs that we had before. And now we've got the WIDI option enabled, which is this blue light. And that's it, everybody. That's how to install the WIDI core on the H4 MIDI. Hope you found the video useful. If you did, give the video a like. You can subscribe to the channel to stay in the loop. And I'll see you in the next one with plenty more CME MIDI gear. Have a great day, folks.